You won't find nobody better than I Who better than cop? Rhetorical, don't need no reply Nah I'm sensual caramel with a touch of butter Best of both worlds, sophisticated In them gutter Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell right next to it so you can get notified every time your girl blows a new video, which is absolutely every week. That's every week you get to see me and gonna give this video a thumbs up. You know, it's gonna be lit because the only pop we keep it rocking, we ain't stopping. Period. Purr. <laughs> Uh, I got my Erica Badu vibes going on, y'all. Got my loan. Got my loan 36 inch braids. My loan 36 inch braids, y'all. I was going to do a tutorial on this hairstyle, but I didn't. But anyways, in today's video, I want to talk about something that I noticed on myself. Um, so you guys know that I suffer from alopecia. And I suffer from alopecia really, really bad. Um, I'm always dealing with recurrent hair loss because I'm. I also have PCOS, which causes hair loss. Um, I suffer from seborrheic dermatitis, so I got a whole lot of issues going on with my um, hair. So that's why I try to, you know, just target women who have hair and scalp conditions like myself who have you know who are struggling with hair growth like myself so something that i noticed with this time about my hair is i have an area in my head that is kind of like taking this time to grow back um versus when i first like my first time experiencing extreme hair loss when i shaved my head completely bald um i had the same area that was giving me problems um i can't show y'all because i got braids and the hair is is thin in that area is not as bald as it was before but it's thin so i still was able to like do some braids and cover the spot up to mask it so i could get my braids but it's really really noticeable if i'm like um when i like wash my hair or you know when i'm trying to do like individual braids and stuff like that it's really really noticeable and it's hard to mask it when i try to do certain hairstyles even when i do like updos if i'm doing ponytails or sleek hairstyles you can see that spot in the last video that i had done i don't know if it was a it was a hair tutorial i had done for you guys where i had the long sleek braided ponytail you can see this spot really really good because the area is really taking its time to grow back so i figured that i would start back getting the braids and you know start back doing like protective hairstyles and maybe that will help to speed up the growth because you guys can see like my hair itself like my whole head itself is growing back rude my air i didn't know it was that loud but my hair itself is growing back really really good but these are really irritating because it's like you know i feel like I'm doing what I was doing in the beginning, but now, you know how your body get used to certain things? Um, it's like my body is so used to it that it's slowing down. The things that I was doing before are not working as fast or as good as they were the first time. So I'm trying to come up with different methods to help speed up the growth. I think the problem is this time when I first when I first started experiencing extreme hair loss I paid attention to my hair but not like I'm paying attention to it now like my main focus be this this spot and because I notice it so you know vividly and I see the spot so vividly like I it is when I wake up and I do my hair care routine I see the spot when I go to sleep to when I'm, before I go to bed and I do my hair my night hair care routine I see the spot so it's like I'm focusing in so solely on this spot that is like it's not growing versus the first time when I was you know doing my hair care routines and getting my hair back to growing and stuff like that I wasn't really focusing on the spot yes I knew it was there but it wasn't like controlling my mind like it is right now and now I can't do it when I do the hairstyles that I try to do I'm so consumed with the spot 
that is it kind of like kinda makes me feel a little bit discouraged because it's like if this spot is not growing then maybe all that I'm doing is not good enough and I was considering just you know cutting my hair completely bald again because maybe that is the problem as to why the spot is not growing but I didn't but then I remembered how I still suffered with that thinning area even when I had cut my hair completely bald because if you go back and you look at my journey my journey has literally been so it's been like a up and down up and down roller coaster it's been like you know a topsy-turvy or whatever that thing is like a, a seesaw it's just been up and down up and down and it's like what steps do I take? What can I do? And constantly going back and forth to the doctors, you guys literally heard how I've been going back to the doctor over and over and over again, and I've gotten different diagnosis as to what could be causing my hair loss. And it's like, what is the actual linkage? Because I've been, I've been diagnosed with um, alopecia areata i've been diagnosed with seborrheic dermatitis of the scalp i've been diagnosed with pcos which causes hair loss so it's like what is the actual target what is the actual problem that i'm suffering with so that can be what i focus on and then maybe that is what can help me get on the right track of getting the um hair to grow back and to get it to grow back rapidly yes my hair for what my hair goes through is growing back at a good pace but it's like i know it could be doing more if I knew exactly what was the issue that was actually you know taking place with my hair and I'm sitting down doing this video because I know a lot of you women are suffering too and y'all get frustrated and it's like y'all y'all have to know that I I struggle too and it get frustrating and I like to get on camera to let y'all know that you're not alone that I have these up and down moments where I don't know what what step to take next because it's like I can figure something out that works for me but then I can find something else that's going on with my scalp that makes me question the whole process of what I'm doing to get my hair back to growing you get what I'm saying so it's like I really don't know what I'm doing and I feel like I'm constantly wasting money going back and forth to a doctor or a dermatologist to just tell me something and not give me a concrete answer because if I'm going to multiple doctors and they're all giving me different diagnoses what is the actual problem I don't know so it's, it's frustrating and here I am trying all of these different oils, which I, which I, 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 I get questioned a lot of, why am I trying different oils if I found something that works for me? Listen, I love the Canvas Beauty brand um, because the Canvas Beauty brand really does grow your hair and it grows your hair really fast. But my condition has overlapped. Yes, the Canvas Beauty brand was working for me and it was working for me at one point really, really well, but it slowed down the growth. It slowed down how it was working for me because my issues went it, it surpassed what I was happening the first time that my hair grew back. So it's like, I'm getting diagnosed with all of these different conditions which I really don't even don't even know if all of these diagnoses are true <laughs> because here I am getting told that I have all of this different stuff which which one is actually what I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with so I don't know but um, the canvas beauty brand is a great product line that actually helps your hair to grow but my issues go further so I like to try out different oils now I like to try out different oils now to just help me on my journey um the one product that I will say is consistent for me is minoxidil that is one product that I know that I will constantly have to keep using within my hair care routine and also the 911 follicle by the beauty of Rashida that is a great that's a great serum that I keep in my routine as well because I've never had a product that actually grew grew my edges and that's one that has been growing my edges now when it comes to the canvas beauty brand I don't use it as much as I used to but I still use it I still use the canvas beauty beauty brand because it is great for volumizing and it is great for just getting your hair thick 
and to know me is to know that I want thick hair so I use the canvas beauty brand you know I use it weekly but I don't use it every day like I once used to I still now when it comes to me on my wash days that's the product line that I use. I, I still love the Follica Booster. I still love, you know, the, the conditioner and the shampoo. So I still do use the Canvas Beauty brand. I just don't use it as much as I used to. And yes, it did work for me, but y'all have to understand that I am suffering with a scalp condition that can cause me to have re recurring hair loss so I try different products and a lot of people say that you shouldn't be trying all these products on your hair but when you're suffering with so many things you get desperate and I like to try out different stuff not only to help myself but to help y'all because a lot of you want to know does it help to grow hair that is you know to grow a scalp that has alopecia and I am a I have alopecia so I just try out different products to show y'all if it if, if it's working for me so that's explaining the reason as to why I don't only use one product line right now because I want to try out as much as I can to see which product line grows my hair the best and whatever product line grows my hair the best that is what I really amp up and you know rap for and tell y'all that this is the one this is the one that helps me but I do try other products along the way to um, help anybody else who may ask me to try a certain product because I get asked a lot to try certain products and I'm just trying to try out all of the ones that I have gotten suggestions on trying so that that basically answered that question and I like to get on here and I like to start these type of conversations because a lot of you be having a lot of suggestions and tips that y'all leave me in the comment section and they not only help me they help others who are dealing with the same things that you know I'm dealing with so that's why I like to start these open discussions about my scalp and my hair care routines and these are the type of videos that I like to put out because these are the type of videos that are really helping you know you win into I know it's not something that is building confidence overnight but it is something that's getting you you know taking those steps to getting you back to gaining that confidence that you've lost with you know your hair loss so yes hope this video is helpful to you just to let you know that you're not alone in this process this is not easy and it's not going to be one of those processes that is going to take place overnight is going to be one that is going to take place over time so yes i love you guys um don't forget to like comment subscribe all of that good stuff and i'll see y'all in the next video bye Mwah.